The latest achievement of Iran's air defense sector. Experts at the Iranian Army's Khatam al Anbiya air defense base have started using indigenous simulators for Hawk and Skyguard air defense missile systems. The new apparatus enables air defense trainees to experience real electronic war conditions through simulation. Future wars are not temporary confrontations in a specific geographical location, but they include huge aggressive assaults and the air defense base is at the forefront of defending the Islamic Republic of Iran. According to Brigadier General Farzad Esmaili, the Iranian version of simulators for Hawk and Skyguard missile systems have been upgraded and are faster and more accurate than the actual systems. Before designing and building these simulators, we had to separate a complete air defense system with all its tracking and detection radars, and even its missile launchers and about 150 people from our operational network so that others would use the system for training. But today, with the help of these simulators, we are able to give instructions in a real condition. These simulators are capable of assessing the user's performance in controlling air attack situations. This is the instructor's cabin in which the entire data and information regarding the artificial target is created and then sent to the other cabin next door, in which the trainees practice how to react in the shortest possible time. The instructors control the situation and are able to simulate aerial targets of different classes, including various types of missiles, aircraft, choppers and drones. In the recent years, Iran has made significant progress in its defense sector and has attained self-sufficiency in producing essential military equipment and air defense systems. Iran established its armed development program during the Iraq-Iran war in the 1980s to counter the weapons embargo imposed by the U.S. and its Western allies. Commander of Iran's Air Defense Force says that the Khatam al Anbiya Air Defense Base will unveil another achievement during the 10-day festivities, marking the 35th anniversary of the Islamic Revolution's victory, starting February 1st. Ami Mehdi Kazemi, Press TV, Tehran.